what was the first interaction the first hello like well uh, honestly uh, i you i don't think, remember i don't want to say this but i think i uh, fell in love with him the first time i ever saw him he was such a good looking mm -hmm. uh, man and he had so much of uh, swag about him and that's what i remember mm -hmm. and uh, yeah and uh, he used to just tease me hell of a lot and uh, i had to do a test for the film and uh, i had to come down the stairs and this guy was there and and he was doing all you know all his nonsense and i got so nervous that instead of like walking down the steps i went and jumped three steps you know after three steps i just jumped right there and and i still remember arat saab saying oh that's a great shot and i didn't have the heart to tell him <laughs> that, that this man is troubling me and i just got nervous uh, of him and uh, but he was very loving very warm and uh, i think he's my best friend and uh, my oldest friend hmm. do we say do we call him a natural actor or what kind of an actor did he prepare a lot before coming to the set i i don't know if i know whether it was chintu or whether it was dimple both of them i think because of having worked with uh, mr raj kapoor this preparation and stuff like this was something they never uh, never believed in because raj sir never believed in that mm -hmm. you know it was more spontaneous and uh, chintu dimple also was uh, a very very spontaneous i never i never heard of them uh, you know uh, going back after the shot and rehearsing things and stuff like that most actors nowadays do but uh, i'm not seeing these and then i saw this kajal also she also would do these things and uh, mm -hmm. these three people i'm talking about are probably some of the best actors we have of course there are actors i still, I still remember i used to be very nervous about the lines and i used to ask for the lines and uh, i was never given them i was told that no uh, the spontaneity will be gone so you're mm -hmm. not getting the lines you'll get it right there on the sets that's the way he wanted it yeah but having said that uh, i think mm -hmm. uh, knowing chintu and having uh, chintu saab and having worked with him in a couple of films after after bobby also i think mm -hmm. he uh, immerses himself into the character completely i don't know whether it's preparation but but uh, i know that he works hell of a lot in getting that the character alive and after that i don't i don't say i i would say he's thoroughly prepared not, not that he loses his spontaneity but he's thoroughly prepared in that sense of the word you know his look everything minute detail he works out everything uh mm -hmm. that's what that's what i feel about it this brings us to your next film with him sagar and that was a time when there had been uh, i think a gap of 12 to 14 years both the films were apart by 12 14 years uh, how was it uh, did you find some changes in him uh, during the span of time as an actor did he change or he was the uh, same brat you met him on the sets of bobby no he was a brat uh, for as long as i have known him forever <laughs> forever and uh, but as an actor he was absolutely supreme it's absolutely supreme there's so much ease in his work i mean mm -hmm. uh, he's so easy easy to work with and uh, he was absolutely brilliant in the film and he's brilliant in i think all the films that he does there's something mm -hmm. very very special about him but i used to always tease him because obviously i was the one who was less talented uh, i have to admit that and so i used to always tease him i said you know your father also named the film bobby after me obviously he didn't have faith in you that was the only way i could get back at him it was no other way because on screen he would hammer hammer me completely so that was him he was just excellent no in, in sagar also in sagar also do you do you remember him as the same person or there were some changes in him i think he was worse <laughs> right yeah, and as, as time grew he became one, bigger one, brand we did what we did one film called patiala house okay mm -hmm. and uh, so there was this first and foremost he was very angry with me because i uh, went completely uh, white in it so itna safed karne ki kya zarurat hai itna white to because he had to then match me now <laughs> so why are you going so gray in the
for them. And I, but this is how I feel like doing it, so I'm going to do it. And in one particular shot, I uh, said, uh, uh, can I have the, a shawl, please? So he said, Achha, tab shawl acting karegi. I mean, he was that mean, okay? So he shawl acting karegi. I said, haan, bhai, shawl acting karegi. Kya kare? Rahul ji, my last question. How do you remember him as a person and as a professional? What's your memory of him, which will remain always uh, in, uh, in your memory in, in this lifetime? How will you remember him? Look, uh... Uh, Manoj, uh, I, I'll never be able to forget him. Never ever. I mean, for me, his going away was uh, something which hit me very badly. It's been a long association from the time we were in the first standard in school. You know, so 60 years of uh, not knowing a person, knowing a person very closely where you are practically talking to a person every day, wherever you are in the world. And um, of course, we used to have our fights and then not talk to each other for a month and all behave like children. And uh, I really miss that. I really miss that, you know, that I'm, that Chintu is not here. It's something which, uh, which, which hurts me very badly. And uh, now when, especially when we talk about uh, him like you're talking about it today now, you know, Dimbles here. Suddenly memories of Bobby, certain things which I've probably forgotten have all started reliving, have started reliving themselves. And that is why uh, after he left us and went, uh, I never spoke about him to anybody in the press or to anybody at all. Because uh, I couldn't take it. I, I didn't want to get uh, reminded of him. In fact, my book, uh, became quite uh, quite an experience for me because though it's about Ratha, but my whole association there started with Chintu. And uh, mm -hmm. whenever I was coming into those bits about him, it uh, upset me very badly and it still does. So, I can understand. I can understand that. Yeah, uh, it's, been an association of, it's been a lifetime you spent with him. Dimpanji, uh, how would you like to remember him? As mad as he was. The last I spoke to him was I wanted to go and meet him. So he said, uh, yeah, come. The message I got was, uh, you can come by 8 o'clock. And if you say you're not drinking, please don't come. Yeah. That's how he was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Just lovely, adorable. Absolutely adorable. Typically, typically. Yeah. Uh,